Well, I know it's been a while since I've done any kind of updates around the outside of the villages here. Let me get a real close shot here and then I'll, I'll be on my way. That's 466A right there. Right across the street over there is the village's property. This side of 466A is not village property. That right there is Pinellas Plaza. And this is some of the new stuff over here. 7-Eleven, car wash, all that kind of stuff. Here's the massive apartment complex that they were building the last time I did a video over here. And this is just part of it. This massive apartment complex goes way back. I don't even know how many buildings there are. And this is what's happening all around the villages, these massive apartment complexes. Somebody once told me, well, the people who work for the villages has got to live somewhere. Do you think all these people work at the villages? Because I'm here to tell you that's not true at all. As I'm sitting here, I'm watching the Wildwood police go by. Massive, isn't it? Just massive. Let's see if I can show you some other little updates here. The, the home projects right over there are done. I think I was showing you those over there too. Uh, I don't remember what they were called at the time that I showed them to you, but they're up. Um, and there's some other stuff in the back. Let's go back there and see if I can find something. Let me just say, the rent-to-own homes that they were building the last time I did an update, they're all done, I think. They have open houses there now. They, I got tours showing you the inside of the houses. They explain the financing process, I suppose, for a rent-to-own. I don't know how all that works. But they're open if you guys want to go in there and take a look and see what they are. The Wawa has put a sign up over here, Caddy Corner across the street from where I'm sitting, where these apartments are. They're going to be building a Wawa right there. Uh, Wawas can be very, very busy. Across the street, from that Wawa they built a new CVS store I don't know if it's open yet or not but there's a new CVS store and I'll try to give you quick pictures of those as I drive out of here because I got to go to O'Reilly's to pick me up a, a battery for the camper and to dump off this old oil this is just one little section around the villages if you drive around the outer skirts of the villages everywhere this kind of building is going on all over the place so if, if having a lot of traffic bothers you like it bothers me you might not think about buying in the villages for that reason because it's just becoming hectic anymore i mean five o'clock rush when i first came here this was a small quiet retirement community five o'clock rush that was like something you left behind and now it's here so it is what it is Okay, if you can see over there, that's where the new Wawa's gonna be. It's right there where that dump truck's at working. Straight across the street over there, way over there, if you look really hard between those trees, that's the new CVS store. Um, I think it's open. I think I see cars in the parking lot. Across from that, if you look right over there in, the, in between those trees and everything, that's the new Home Depot. So you got CVS, Home Depot, Wawa. All brand new, right here on this corner. And this is all straight across the street from these massive hotels or apartments right here. I'm gonna go in there and see if I can get a little pick for you. Cause now we got a stoplight here that we never had before, but because of all this massive building here, and now we got a stoplight. It's turning into just a big city. There's some more of them. There's something on this side. There's some over here on this side. I'm just pointing this out because this is becoming super, super congested area. We had a lot of rain. Uh, water's really high in some of these retention ponds also. You guys might notice that. Hurricane Deb came through here a few days ago and that's why it's so high. All I'm doing is I'm just kind of glancing from left to right to front. You know, I'm in the same area, just kind of showing you some of the building that's been going on here. I'm coming in here because I want to I want to turn around and go back out. And all these are apartments. They're nice. I'm mean, nothing wrong with them. I ain't saying anything wrong about them. People have a tendency sometimes to making me saying things I've never said. 
you know, people's got to live somewhere. If you got to live somewhere, you, you can probably find a lot worse places to live, that's for sure. But my point is, if you're looking for a nice, quiet retirement place, the village is, is got so much building going on around it that traffic is an issue. It's, it's been an issue for a few years now, and as much building as, as going to be happening in the future that we already know about, Eastport area, and that goes all the way down to Bushnell. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And businesses are going where people, where people have money. And obviously, if they buy a house in the villages, they got a little bit of money. So, you know, you're going to see more and more Walmarts. I think I've already seen plans about a super Walmart being built down south of 44 there somewhere. Uh, they're going to build more restaurants, more golf courses, more this and that. Well, also around Eastport, if them newer people have been listening to anything that I've said, this building is going to happen down there. Why wouldn't it? They got a school down there. These people's got to live somewhere. <laughs> they may work for a company that does do work for the villages, but these people do not all work for the villages. People that work for the villages are the only ones that can send their, skid, their kids to um, charter school, the villages charter schools. They don't accept anybody from the outside. More jobs, more people. More people, more potential restaurants, more potential Walmarts, more potential traffic. It just, I mean, it's just the way it is. But I'm just saying, I left an area like this, Indianapolis. I worked there for a long time to come down to a villages when it was just only one square and a quiet little place and, you know, just to get away from all the rat race. And then uh, here I am, it'll be 10 years in October and I'm in the middle of this. Five o'clock rush hour traffic. We're not even on a main road. This is just one of the side roads. There's the houses that you can rent to own. All of them right there. Last time I did an update over here, that was all under construction. They're all done. It's called Inspire Homes. I'm not going to go in there today and do any driving around. I got to get over to the camper. I got some things I got to fix. Plus, I got to go over to O'Reilly's, get rid of some old batteries and get a new battery. So, that being said, um, thanks for watching. That's a little bit of the updates. Give you an idea what's going on on this side of town anyway, around the Pinellas shopping uh, plaza area. And um, I'll catch you on the next one.